Have you ever wondered what happens to the waste and water after you flush a toilet? How can they take the waste that is as awful as what comes out of the back of a toilet, clean it up, and return it to nature, into the streams and rivers and lakes that beautify our world? Hey, Plumber Tom here. I recently took a tour of our local sewer treatment plant, a state-of-the-art facility where they're able to take the sewage that comes from the city, clean it up, and return the water to the lakes and streams in our area. This plant receives over 1.5 million gallons per day and has recently been enlarged to be able to handle up to 4 million gallons of sewage waste per day. This is the raw sewage that is coming into the plant from the city. Interestingly, most of the solid waste coming from the toilets or other drains have been broken down and are dissolved into the water. The liquid waste passes through a machine that removes any solids that are left in the fluids. As the liquid waste passes into the plant for treatment, it is filtered again through these screens. The liquid waste is then fed into large holding tanks where it is processed. The processing takes hours and hours and involves the encouragement of a bacterial growth. The bacteria in the water breaks down the sewage and it is fed by air. Huge pipes bring compressed air into the tanks where the air then percolates the fluids. That encourages bacterial growth. The bacteria in that wastewater break down what is in the water. At the bottom of the holding tanks are a series of cartridges. These cartridges use a fine fibered paper to filter the water from the sludge and the bacteria above. These cartridges cost up to $10,000 each and there are a lot of them in the bottom of the tank. These filters are used to separate the water from the bacteria and the waste that is created as the bacteria breaks down what is in the sewage. The filtered water is then pumped up into large pipes that are pushed through an ultraviolet light to clean the water further and then these pumps push that water back into our secondary water system where we can use it for irrigation in the area or in the city. This treatment plant is capable of reclaiming over a million gallons of water per day. The filter cartridges capture the solids that are created as the bacteria grows and breaks down the sewage. This solid waste is brought into these rakers. After it has been raked, this waste is collected and conveyed over to trucks that then transport this to a drying station. The solid waste is left to dry, and as it does, it becomes some of the most fertile compost that you can get. Local farmers who use this on their fields have found that it doubles their production. After taking the tour, I was absolutely amazed at the process where we are able to take our waste, create fertile compost, and return the water to nature as clean as it came. So now you know what happens after you have flushed the toilet.